All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give our honor, our praises, our glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakapadash, Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, who the world and only calls God, Yahweh Shai, the only begotten Son, who the world and only calls Jesus Christ. All right, the water, thank you to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, for the Rakapadash, the Rakapadash being the Holy Spirit, which is the driving force behind these lessons. Double honor goes out to the apostles and elders of the great millstone that rule well. Peace, blessing, grace, and safety goes out to all the Akim around the world, preaching and teaching this word in truth and in its sincerity. Shalom. All right. Mr. Ot, your call from the Men of Valley, South Carolina account. Uh, coming with a real quick hitter, real quick. And uh, this is just uh, a quick hitter based um, on the stones, man. All right. So uh, I'm going to be dealing with the stones set fire and was inspired me to uh, do this lesson. All right. The uh, Rob Moth came down to visit us brothers in South Carolina. You know, the brother uh, Men of Valley, uh, West Coast. All right, one of the brothers came down to visit us, brothers down here in South Carolina. You know, the brother came bearing gifts, you know, beautiful brother, beautiful times with the Akiyam. All right, and the brother uh, gifted brothers with a uh, sapphire stone, okay, uh, a sapphire stone necklace. And, you know, I just thought it was cool, I thought it was neat, because um, I'm not really big into uh, the stones, you know, but I know uh, a little about them. So, you know, the brother gave me my first stone, you know, just doing a little research on it, and just how spiritual it is and how beautiful it is, because... We are coming back to our heritage. So like, we're coming back to our heritage that we was uh, discontinued from. Okay, uh, let me grab that one real, real quick. All right, because we was uh, discontinued from our heritage. So now, brothers, coming back to those things because we didn't know about the stones and all that. Um, Jeremiah seventeen and four, and thou even thyself shall discontinue from thine heritage. That I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in the land which thou knowest not, for ye have kindled a fire in my anger which shall burn forever. Yeah, so we lost our heritage, man. The Lord discontinued us from our heritage. But what? Now he's uh, giving it uh, us our heritage back. He's putting those sinews on our flesh, man. All right, got us standing on our feet, knowing that we are the uh, Israelites. Okay, and going back to our heritage uh, as far as the stones, all right, the prayers, the Hebrew. All right, preaching the uh, correct gospel. All right, so uh, I just was doing a little, um, just doing a little quick Google, Google search and looked up uh, the meaning of the sapphire stone. All right, um, so I, let's just get into it. It says, "What is the spiritual meaning of sapphire?" Introduction to meaning and uses of sapphire to the ancient and medieval world. Sapphire of heavenly blue signified the height of celestial hope. All right. And that's a beautiful thing, man. That's what Akim got, man. All right? Uh, 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 celestial hope. Hoping in what? Those angels. All right? Those chariots. The uh, things that we really uh, can't see. All right? It's the height of celestial uh, hope. And that's the spirit that the brother bought, the sapphire stone. Because there's many, many stones for uh, different good reasons. It says, and so like it says, to the ancient and medieval world, sapphire of heavenly blue signified the height of celestial hope celestial hope and faith and was believed to bring protection, good fortune, and spiritual insight. It was a symbol of power and strength, but also of kindness and wise judgment. All right, so in the medieval times, all right, and that's when what Jake was ruling, okay, we knew we knew these things. We knew what these stones meant. That's why men uh, was wearing certain stones then. And what? We are coming back into those times now. It says, a uh, symbol of energy and healing. Blue sapphire, um, salaki, sapphire is regarded as a stone of metal focus and order. And order. Salaki. Getting a little excited. Blue sapphire is regarded as a stone of mental focus and order. All right. So this is a, a beautiful, a good stone, man, to uh, give off these certain vibrations because we need all these kind of vibrations. All right. Uh, mental focus. All right. Celestial hope. We need all that. It says inner vision and psychic awareness. Hey, brothers, know the future because these scriptures, uh, all right? That's our psychic awareness. It says sapphire is said to help open the third eye to receive wisdom and insight, as well as the throat chakra, which allows you to communicate that vision to others. Okay? So this is just telling the good uh, qualities of the uh, sapphire stone. It's a beautiful thing. All right, ultimately... It's on your how about send you outside to put the Rakakwadash, the Holy Spirit, on you, all right, to give you the uh, the wisdom and the insight and the celestial hope and the faith 
ultimately it's up to you how about seeing outside. But these stones give off that vibration, you know. So I just want to do a little quick hit on the sapphire stone, you know, because, you know, the art passed out the necklaces. Beautiful thing. Beautiful uh, thing that's coming um, to come back to our heritage as Israelites. Call Halal Yahweh by Shem Al-Sai. Shalom.